My name is Mike Sullivan. I got a question from uh, Sky King. Uh, he has his he has a YouTube channel himself, and he asked a question: um, How long does an IRS audit take? Um, well, first of all, you should know. Uh, by the way, thank you for the uh, the question, uh, JJ Sky King, DJ Sky King. Um, there's different types of audits. There's an IRS mail audit um, or correspondence audit, where the computer found something on your return that didn't make sense and they sent this information out and said hey you need to correct it um, that mail correspondence audit can go as quick or as fast as you want it they want a response within 30 days I suggest when you get a mail correspondence audit you go ahead and send them the information and clear this up if you don't respond to that mail uh, correspondence audit IRS will set the deficiency up against you so every every letter, every audit is time sensitive. So first thing you have to do is go ahead. Oh, I didn't even introduce myself. I'm sorry. My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent, teaching instructor with IRS. I'm a national tax resolution expert. Um, worked at IRS over a decade. Um, um, I respond to people who ask me questions. And today, this is uh, this is uh, DJ Sky King's uh, answer. So. Anyway, the, the, the mail audit, actually, IRS does, I think, 1.4 million mail audits a year. Uh, the computer catches these. Um, you usually fall off your algorithms, uh, fall off the national standards. They have one, two, three issues. Maybe your interest is, interest is high or you have something on your tax return, advertising, marketing, that sparks some curiosity. So IRS just goes ahead and sends a... Something like that. Uh, um, um, something like that out. The next is the office audit. Office audit is where you go in an office. The computer probably kicked out maybe five, six, eight different items on your tax return. Could be your gross income. Could be your travel. Could be entertainment. Could be tax credits you've taken. You go in and you don't have a higher graded auditor. I don't want to say they're lower grade. I should say they're not as experienced and don't handle higher matters. So they usually look at Schedule C income, and most of them spend a lot of their time. Could be dependents, could be exemptions, could be credits, but most of the time they're looking at Schedule C audits. Those audits, you have your initial audit. You send in the information. You go back and forth, and those last probably, I don't know, maybe a month to six weeks. And then you have your revenue agent audit. That's a long-ass audit. Um, you have someone who's like into a CPA come out. These are for more of the big hitters. Uh, you got maybe an LLC, a corporation, a partnership. You know, you have a more complicated return. Those can take up to a year. I've seen some of them take up to two years. And then you have your larger case dollars, your billions of dollars of audit, which I'm not even going to discuss. So you have your three classifications, your mail one, which you kind of control the time. Uh, you have your office audit, should take no more than two months. And then your revenue agent audit, when someone comes out in your office, looks at the records, look at computer records, and they blow everything apart. And they will usually focus on really just the certain things. The good thing, no matter what audit you have, you always have your appeals processes after. So you may not like what they said, so you just ask the auditor, issue me a report. The auditor issues your report and then you get your day in appeals for any one of those audits, mail correspondence, office audit, revenue agent audit. So if you have any questions, you're welcome to tell me. By the way, uh, always um, some just tips. Contact the agent, be respectful. If they want stuff, send certified. Make sure you communicate well. Make sure you're friendly. The big thing is try to make sure they don't expand the audit. If they go in and they find something for 2020 and say, hmm, this may be a continued problem, they may want to pick up 18 and 17, 18, 19 and 18. You want to really stop that from happening if you possibly can. But put nice records together, nice deep, and be organized. IRS will look to see how organized and only give them copies, never give them originals. So your three types of audits all take different time periods. You can always appeal. 
if you lose your appeal, you're going to go ahead and owe the money and make sure you take care of the tax debt as soon as you can. Um, as a former IRS agent, I pull back the curtain. I give you the information you need. It really helps if you subscribe to me and like me. Subscriptions are really big to YouTube. I don't know why. It shows me, I guess, that people care about what I'm saying. And I do try to give you the information. If you have a question, like uh, like like uh, like uh, DJ Sky, I Sky uh, King is, uh, just go ahead and let me know. And I'll make a YouTube. Uh, just because I can do that and I want to give you the information. Thank you.